Just look at the freak. Leave me be, or I shall call my husband. I've worked up quite the appetite. What do you want from me? Take it easy. Faster. You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? Oh God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. <laughs> Yes, but next time... Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again! Everything's ready. Aye. 
soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. Run, Roach. Watch out! Three more shits out the hole! Roach through here. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Take it easy. are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Hey-ya! Faster.
Let's go! Faster. Move it. Come on, Roach. Slow now, whoa. Trail. Gotta look for a set of single hoof marks. Heavily laden horse. There. But you sure? Trot straight to me as soon as I whistle. Ah, fuck off. Let's go. Understand everything I say. I swear it. It's a horse. What's more? A mare. But you sure? Come on, Roach. All this ain't worth a dog's trick. Sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Nuit de Beauclair. Dandelion uses it by the bucket. Trail should be clear. Collapsed. Can't be far. Let's go. Slower. Let's go. Who the fuck's this now? What did you expect me to do? Chop his legs off at the knees? Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what's going on? How long do you talk to these people? Quiet. Don't worry about me. I'll be quiet. But don't forget me. You can't trust me now. Once I saw one of them. Down!
What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out where we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Sure that you won't try anything. I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice to do it. Quickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you both. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said. A hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred's head grab Viscount Don't Let Me Hold. Viscount, kill man. Everybody kills you, dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every goited paper I run across. Now, if you could just unbind. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. <laughs> ah, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You were right. You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. 
no one else came to mind. Maybe given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Doo-Doo? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. 
We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately? Getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Ruven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Don Ep Tanaid, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. You Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt. She's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm on. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. <laughs>